Hi there, I'm Jennifer Lee, Senior Economist at Bank of Montreal. So it has been a very interesting month. Uh, the U.S. Federal Reserve, as was generally expected, stayed on hold during their September meeting. Uh, but what was interesting is that they basically threw open the door to uh, rate hikes in coming months uh, by making reference to the uh, outlook for risk becoming nearly balanced. And uh, uh, so that was a strong signal to financial markets to expect a gradual tightening in interest rates. Uh, that will likely not be at their next meeting in November, on November 1st and 2nd, given that it's just six days before the U.S. Uh, presidential election and markets will be jittery and the U.S. Uh, Federal Reserve does not want to add to those jitters. So the meeting after that is December 13th and 14th and that will be actually a, a great time uh, to to make that announcement given that a press conference was is already planned so Fed Chair Yellen will have lots of opportunity to explain why they made that move and uh, the media can grill her uh, with lots of questions about about their about uh, about future uh, rate hikes uh, what was also interesting during that September meeting is that more policymakers are expect or expecting fewer rate hikes in coming years. In fact, they lowered their estimate for, uh, uh, for long-term growth to about 1.8% per year. And they also lowered their estimate for, uh, for Fed funds rate, um, for the Fed funds rate uh, to about uh, under 3%, two and three quarters actually. Um, so if you have lower interest rates and slower growth, that basically means uh, uh, fewer rate hikes ahead in the years to come. Uh, so in, in, in that, um, with that uh, in mind, we continue to stay by our, uh, our call for one rate hike this year, which is again in December, uh, two rate hikes in uh, 2017, and probably only two in, in, uh, in 2018. Now in Canada, the economic data have not been extremely encouraging. Uh, the, uh, the economy actually shrank in the second quarter. Now granted, um, all of that was due to the wildfire in Alberta. It actually cut two percentage points from growth in Q2. Um, the handoff to Q3 was actually pretty solid. Uh, June uh, GDP was up 0.6%. Um, however, the Bank of Canada remains very cautious on the outlook. Uh, they're watching uh, exports, need to see some more pickup in export activity. And of course, they're watching the housing market as well. Uh, again, the Bank of Canada remains dovish. Uh, Governor Polaz was on the wires a couple of weeks ago. Uh, making comments about uh, his, his view on rates. And I think the one key phrase that he said that I took away was that uh, low uh, rates will remain lower for longer, but not forever. So in that vein, and given what we're looking at now for the Fed, we no longer expect the Bank of Canada to move in, uh, in October of 2017. Uh, we don't expect them to do anything until uh, January of 2018 and maybe follow up with another uh, rate hike uh, about half a year later. So nothing from the Bank of Canada in 2016, or 2017, but only in 2018. And of course, the Federalists can be moving way before the Bank of Canada does. Thank you.